Yo guys, welcome back to a brand new PDC Jail Celestial Storm video. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the Celestial Storm content. I'm having a lot of fun at playing it with the new cards. There's a lot of really interesting new cards. And uh, we're going to be looking at a World Rotation Metagross Stevens Resolve deck. A very interesting deck indeed. And uh, we're going to be trying it out here on PDC Jail. We're going to see how it does. Um, and we'll talk about it. So of course, the deck combos around Stevens Resolve and the new Metagross that we got. So, the new Metagross is a very interesting card because it has a very cool ability that worked really well with Steven. So, ability is extend. As long as this Pokemon is your active Pokemon, your turn does not end when you play Steven's Resolve. So, when you do Steven's Resolve, you search your deck for up to three cards and put them in your hand. Then your turn ends. Now, this is an okay... It's an okay supporter. It's not great. Obviously, there's stuff like N um, that can, you know, immediately reset your Steven's, make it useless. However, when you combo it with Metagross, your turn will not end. So you just straight up get to grab any three cards you want, which is just nuts. That's insane. Um, and your turn doesn't end either, so you can just set up an entire board thanks to one Steven's Resolve. And as long as you have this new Metagross in your active, you get to pull it off. Now, the Metagross is not the most amazing attacker. For one energy, you do 60. During your next turn, you do... Um, 60 more damage, so you, two turns you can hit for 180, um, with a choice band, you can take out most Pokemon like Buzzwolves and Ultra Necrozmas and Rayquazas and stuff like that, so it's not a bad, it's not a bad attack, it's not great, your opponent can easily reset it with cards like Guzma, so it's, it's not a perfect attack, but it can get the job done, and as long as you have Extend, you're okay, because you can set up a bunch of Metagross GXs, we know Metagross GX is already a pretty decent archetype on its own, Geotech System and Giga Hammer are both really good attack uh, things to have. Um, Geotech System, once you're in turn, uh, before you attack, you may attach a Psychic or a Metal Energy from your Discard Pile to your active. So you get to use Geotech System to refill your board. You already know how the combo works. You get three Metagross in play, or at least two of them. You retreat your Metagross, you Geotech System a new one. After you Giga Hammer, you Max Potion, heal your Metagross, and you kind of just tank your way to Victory Leap and it's a very good combo to have, and it's already a pretty strong deck. And with the addition of this Metagross, you get a lot more access to building up a board state. Um, so that's that. We even got some new Beldums, which are actually pretty playable. Um, the first Beldum here with Conductive Body. As long as this Pokemon is your active Pokemon, its retreat cost is one colorless for each Beldum on your bench. So if you have two Beldums on your bench, this Beldum gets to retreat for free, which is pretty nice, and we even have a new 70 HP Beldum, which just gives it a little bit more HP, which can come in handy in a lot of situations. So, that's pretty good, and we've got our Matangs here. We do have a new Matang, it's really not that great though, in all honesty. Um, uh, the, the, the old Matang is better, because Core Beam with a Choice Bank can do a lot of damage. Um, so yeah, we got the new Beldums, we got our new Metagross, we got a new Supporter. There's a lot of good things Metagross gains from this set, which helps it quite a bit. Now, is this deck going to be good? for the Worlds format that we are currently testing and in right now, or is it going to be good for post-rotation? We'll find out. I think it'll be great post-rotation. For now, I think it's an alright deck, but we'll take a look at the rest of the deck here real quick. I am playing two Alolan Volcuses. Two might seem like a lot, but we are going to go with two, because Beacon is so useful to set up your Metagross. Metagross is a lot more of a slower deck when you play against something like Zoark, or when you play against something like Buzzwool. You know, you have a slower time to set up, so Beacon will help us get our Metagrosses. We got our two Lele's. Lele's really important for Wonder Tag to be able to grab Steven's Resolve. And we have, of course, our one Genesect Gex. Now, this is an interesting tech, and there's a few techs you get to run in this deck, which I kind of like. You get Genesect, you can play Dalmize, um, you can play either Dustmane Necrozma GX, or you can play Baby Dustmane, which can be used for Dust Shot to help finish stuff off. So there's actually quite a few combos you get to do with this deck. Um, I've gone with Genesect because we need some sort of nice one-shot attacker, I feel like, and Genesect can get the job done pretty easily, so I'm going with Genesect for my attacker. And those are all the Pokemon in the deck, just 16 Pokemon. We'll get into the items and stuff now. Uh, we got two Field Blowers, very important to play this when you're playing against Garboder because you rely heavily on abilities. We are playing one Heavy Ball. I really wanted to play two Heavy Balls in this deck, but Heavy Ball can get you one of the Beldums with three Retreat Costs, it can get you Tang, or it can get you one of the two Metagrosses. Um, we got four copies, or four, we got three Max Potions. Max Potion is one of the best cards in Metagross, as we know. I kind of feel like four might be better in this deck, since it's more of a Metagross build. Um, but we are going to go with three today. We got four Rare Candies to immediately go into your Metagross, which is very important. We got two Rescue Stretchers. We're still only going to format with Parallel City. 
Plus, we're a slower deck, so your opponent can take a lot of easy first prizes in the early game. Or if they parallel you and you lose your Pokemon, you can always get them back. So we're going to go with two Stretchers. we got four Ultra Balls to be able to search for our Pokemon. We are playing two Bridgets just so we can get better odds of hitting a turn one Bridget. It's very important to get like three Beldums on your first turn with this deck. we got three Cynthias for draw, three Guzmas, we got two Ends, and two Sycamores. You notice we play lower Sycamore and End Camps because we have three Stevens Resolve when we have Metagross in the active spot. Well, the baby medicals anyways, right? You do Steven's Resolve, you get any three cards you want. It's just important to have, so we are still going to be running three Stevens, but we are going to cut down on the supporters to make room for our three Stevens. We got three Choice Bands, still important for Metagross to do 180, since it one shot stuff like a Quaza. Um, it can be important for this guy too, so that Meteor Match's numbers are even better. And we got one copy of Floatstone. This allows us, of course, to have to retreat. It's just nice to have with everything very heavy retreat cost, and nine basic metal energies. So this is my Metagross Stevens Resolve deck. It's a very interesting deck right now. It's got some potential thanks to the combo of being able to get any three cards you want as long as Metagross is your active. We're going to go try to hear out here at Joe. We'll see how the deck performs for us. So I'll catch you guys in just a sec with some of the matches. Yo guys, here we go. Let's go find our matches with our deck. And uh, we'll see what we play against here on PDCGO. Looks like our first game is against Zoropod which is probably going to be a hard matchup, maybe, depending, because, well, Zoroark is very aggressive, and Zoropod is also pretty aggressive, so we'll have to see how we do this match. Alright, we got an okay starting hand, um, no turn with Bridget, we do get a Beldum though, we'll see if Beldum gets taken out. We do have Genesect in our hand, don't think I'll need it right now, oh, my opponent's playing Shiftry, okay, so we did top deck this meta goes, which is actually pretty nice, so they're playing parallel, so I don't really want to play Genesect down, but okay, so I doubt Vulpix will get KO'd here so maybe I just hold the hand yeah, it's fine, I think I hold the hand not much else, no point putting Genesect down right away, I think I can hold it we might not need it anyways we're gonna need to get a lot of metals on it I'm not really feeling like that's going to be the case against this deck. Zoark Shiftry might be a, might be an interesting match. Max Potion is going to be our best friend against Shiftry, though. My opponent's actually going to copycat for six. So they're, that's not a Bridget, obviously. So that's a pretty good sign. It's, that's clearly not a turn one Bridget. But nope, they still get two Zoroas off of that. Of course they do. Gotta love when that happens. Um, we actually do get a Cynthia, which is pretty good. So we'll put down this Metagross. We'll float the Vulpix, we'll... Hmm. I guess we'll Cynthia? I don't know if I want to play the Genesect down or not. I don't know, we'll see. Uh, we'll do this. Um, do we get a Beldum? We do. Okay, so I can attack him and knock him out now. Or I can just do Beacon. I think I'll just attack him. Might as well take out the C dot. I don't really see any harm in that. And then next turn we can go Steven's Resolve with Ultra Ball and Lele. And uh, that's pretty good. So let's see what our prize is. Okay, we got a Matang. Not the greatest prize. I was hoping for like a, a Lele or a Beldum, but it's fine. We will see my opponent do Evo Soda. They are going to get Zoark in play. And this is where the fun begins. Because... Zoark is going to do an insane amount of damage. So they're going to Field Blower off the float, which is fine. Don't need that. And they're going to put a Lele down. We'll see what they get here off of Lele. Probably a Sycamore, I'm guessing, to discard their hand. No, they're actually going to end me, which is fine. I'm actually... I'm not a fan of that hand. There's a lot of things I didn't really want to Ultra Ball away for. Everything I kind of need. The only, like, it is suck I'm not going to be able to max potion right away. Depending if I get Stevens off of this. They might not even attack me. You never know. We'll see what we find. Okay, we do get a Cynthia. That's fine. We can Ultra Ball, though, for a, um, for what's his face? For, uh, Steven. So my opponent's getting rid of Mew. We'll see if they attack me this turn. Hopefully they don't. Just make my life a whole lot easier if they don't attack me. We do need to get more Metagross in play, though. Oh, they're actually just going to attach to the C dot, which is fine. And we'll see what else my opponent does. There's Zork. Okay, it looks like there's Zork. It's just going to be stranded in the active. Um, we'll just use this turn to Cynthia. There's no need to do a Stevens. There's nothing we need. Um, it's fine, because next turn we can do Stevens and get a bunch of Beldums down. So that's fine. So we'll put the Choice Band on. We do have a Heavy Ball. 
but I only play one Beldum here. So we're just going to Meteor Mash my opponent for a nice chunk of damage. 150, so we're going to be two-shot in this Zoark now, which is pretty nice. So we'll see if my opponent's able to do an Ace Roller. If not, this Zoark should be going down next turn. I mean, we have to probably get an energy to do that. So my opponent's going to Field Blower, that's fine. We have another Choice Band in our hand. Good thing I didn't play both down. I was thinking about doing that, but uh, I'm kind of glad I'm not doing that now. My opponent's going to do another trade here. Good thing they only have one other Zoram play. Maybe they don't get Zork here and then they can't do trade. We'll see if they end up getting Shiftry down. They could do Shiftry's GX attack if they want. I guess as a way to like shuffle Megros back on the deck. That would be a little annoying. We'll see if they end up doing that this turn. It's possible. Okay, they do get Rare Candy. They're just going to need a way to get Zork already active if they want to do Den of Incuity. I mean, that would be very annoying if they did that. We still have Vulpix in play, though, so we can still do a few beacons to set back up. So it's really not going to be the end of the world if they end up doing that. I kind of want them to attack me. I don't really want to make this max potion go to waste, though. Don't want to make it go to waste, so we'll have to see what ends up happening here. If not, this should be an easy two prizes on the Zoark. But Shifty will take us out with Extra Sensory. And they did get rid of a Guzma there. Okay, they're going to play Lele. I mean, they do have to get five cards in their hand. So, it doesn't look like they're going to be knocking out my uh, Metagross this turn exactly. Unless they can get five cards. So they're going to judge me to four. Okay. They did do their trade. If I, yeah, they traded, I think, away the Guzma. So, hopefully we get a good card. Good cards off this judge to four. Alright, we still got Ultra Ball, which is perfectly fine. We got Matang. And we can probably discard Guzma and whatever we draw for Lele. My opponent will do an Ultra Ball. Getting rid of DCE and Guzma. That's not bad. Another Guzma down at the drain. Grabbing any another Zoar. So they have one card in their hand. They can choose to do trade here. In before that trade, if that trade gives them float. I am going to be one very salty boy. Well, they have to get rid of a puzzle piece, though. I would have just held that hand, or at least played puzzle. I don't know. Oh, they're going to multi-switch. Okay, so I guess they're going to attack me, which is fine. I'm not really too worried about losing Metagross. Um, besides, we can always do Steven's Resolve if we want. So let's see if we can top deck Steven. Wow. Okay, well, technically that is top decking Steven's Resolve, so... That is what we will do. So we'll drop Lele for Steven. If I can find it. We got one prize. Interesting. So, yeah. This is pretty good. Uh, we'll grab... Probably... Do we have the other Lele in the deck? Okay, I don't think we do. So, I might have to just go Metal Energy. Max Potion. Max Potion, Metal Energy. And I guess Sycamore for next turn. We're probably going to get KO'd by Metagross, or not by Metagross, sorry, by the, um, by the Shiftry's Extra Sensory Attack, because it does one-shot us. So, we'll just Meteor Mash, knock him out. We're going to be able to take two prizes here. We'll see what this gives us. I'm actually hoping I don't get Steven here, because I might have to discard it. Okay, we got another Max Potion. Alright, not the greatest. I was hoping we would get our other Lele off the prizes, but it didn't look like it, but... That's fine, we take out Zoark. My opponent still does need to find a DCE to even attack me. They might just perplex me and confuse me. Which, if they do that, I'll probably just Guzma up the Zoark. So, we'll see if my opponent gets a KO. They only have one, two cards in their hand. They have one trade. And they've played a few supporters, so we'll see if they get anything off this trade for two. And they've played both Lele, so I'm assuming they're out. They're out of Lele, so they might just have to perplex me here. Okay, they will do a Bridget. So, I'm assuming they're just going to settle for Perplex, unless this trade gave them Bridget DCE. Well, they're not going to get any more C dots. Interesting. So, yeah, they're just going to Perplex me. A little annoying. We are going to get confused. Um, but it does give me some time to sit up a little bit, which is nice. I guess we're going to have to discard this hand. We'll just get Metagross here, which is fine by me. We need to establish a Metagross board anyways. I'll flip to attack. I mean, if we miss it, we miss it. At the, at the same time, though, we're going to hopefully 
get what we need, we do. We'll get rid of... Hmm. I guess the other Ultra Ball. I didn't... Everything else I kind of need. We might get end here to a low hand size next turn. Just gonna need to keep as many draw supports as I can. Hold on, guys. Alright, sorry about that. Just had to quickly mute the mic for a quick sec, um, but we will rare candy into Metagross. And alright, so we're in a decent spot. My opponent does have access to Denim and Cutie, possibly. Gotta watch out for that. We'll go Meteor Mash. Hopefully, we hit heads and no uh, Metagross. Why? Thankfully, though, he still has to have the same number of cards in, my, in his hand to KO me. So that's a good sign, I guess. So he still needs to get three cards in his hand if he wants to knock out my, my uh, Metagross here. Does suck we didn't hit heads there. We're, Meteor Mash is going to get reset now. So that's a little annoying. We'll have to see what happens. We could always maybe just win the game by knocking out Lele with the Choice Band and Giga Hammer. We'll have to see if my opponent is able to get the knockout this turn. If not, I mean, I don't have access to another way to switch out, which is a little annoying. But if he KOs me, we can stretch her back the Metagross and Bell them. Or I might just get the Bell them back. So, okay, he does have DC, but he's only got, well, now he's only got one card in his hand. I guess he can puzzle, but he won't be able to get what he wants off the trade. He can't play any cards off his trade, is what I meant to say. And that's another puzzle. Is that a double puzzle, though? Can't, is it double puzzle or not? Because if it's double puzzle, I mean, I'm assuming it is. He is taking a while to play it, so I'm guessing he's playing a uh, double puzzle here. If not, he's rearranging. No, he is. He's grabbing copycat and DCE. I guess he can copycat for three, but that's fine. I don't mind him knocking me out. Metagross did its thing, you know. We, we did okay with it. We took three prizes with it. So this Metagross did work this game. And we got to show off the Stevens combo a little bit. So we're going to see another trade for my opponent. Going to get rid of an end. That's a big card to get discarded. Especially at the point I'm at right now. He could Den of Incuity one of my Metagross if he wants. That is an option for him. No, he's actually just going to take the knockout. Interesting play. I I guess that's fine. I mean, I probably would have just done the uh, Den of Incuity in all honesty, but I don't mind that at all. So we can shuffle our guys back in the deck. But I think I'm just going to get the Beldum back. Honestly, Metagross did his job. I don't think we're going to need him anymore. Um, I might as well put Genesect down at this point. I don't really see why not. He's played two of his Guzmas. I don't know if I want Genesect in play, though. Well, do we even have enough energy in the discard? Yeah, so double uh, double Geotech system is what we need. So I, might, I guess we'll play Genesect. I could draw into a... Um, a metal I can attach. Okay, we do get it. We do have a heavy ball. I might play that now. Actually, hmm. Maybe it's best to hold that, I think. Yeah. I don't know. I guess we'll attach the Genesect. It's fine. I mean, we are going to have to retreat into the Metagross next turn. But I might just go into the other Genesect. In all honesty. So we do have four cards in our hand. Um, I can't really do anything about lowering my hand size, unfortunately. There's nothing I can really do. I guess we'll play the Heavy Ball then. Um, just to try and lower the hand size a little bit. I don't know how much it's going to help. In all honesty. But we'll just Giga Hammer him. I don't even think I'll need that Heavy Ball in all honesty. Like, yeah, we can use it to search out Matang. But again, we, we he can end us to three. And uh, we could be at the mercy of that. And we're kind of low on draw spores, so it's probably best to do that. But we do hit him for 180, so it's pretty weak now. He's got 60 HP. This is kind of why I wanted to run, like, the one dust main over the Genesect. Because with dust main, you can snipe this for 60. Just finishing stuff off that you didn't KO with Metagross is a really fun thing to do. He could retreat. Like, I honestly don't think he plays Ace Rolla. I haven't looked at any shift resort list yet, but I'm assuming he's not playing Ace Rolla. I mean, he might be. Who knows? Oh, sorry, I'm just so thirsty. My room is really hot right now. Alright, just gonna trade off one of his Ultra Balls. He has to get a three card hand if he wants to attack me for 180, or he goes into his Zoark GX. Let's we'll see what he does. Let's see what he does. He could also, like, Guzma. 
maybe take out Beldum or Vulpix. He still has Den of Incuity. I mean, if he wants, he could Den my active. I don't really see a point in that, though. That could happen, though. You never know. He, he might choose to do that. If he does, then if I don't get an energy and I can't KO him, I guess that's a good play. I don't know. So he's just going to gather uh, Zorua. I mean, he's, he's played a lot of his resources. He can't do any more double puzzles. He's... Uh, he's played a few support, army, a few supporters, used all his field blowers. He's used two of his Guzmas, so I mean, worked it. his best plan is probably to retreat and attack me and try his best to see where it goes from there. He's gonna trade off his other shift tree. So now he has three cards. So he can attack me, but the problem is if he does that, we retreat and finish him off, so. This can go one of two ways. We'll see if he chooses to attack me or if he does his GX attack. But if he does his GX attack, he's not taking a prize card. And it looks like he's actually going for it. Wow. Okay. So we'll just bring out uh, Genesect. And rip, we didn't get an energy. Because why would we? Okay. That's a bit of a problem, not gonna lie, that's, that's that's a little problem. To save Genesect from getting KO'd, we're gonna have to sacrifice full Vix. I'm, I'm feeling a little safe though, he's played two Guzmas. So we're just gonna do Beacon for Metagross and probably another Beldum. Does suck our the lowest prize. Little annoying we didn't get an energy there to knock out this uh, shift tree. At that point, we probably would have just maybe gotten the win. But uh, we'll see what happens. We're not out yet. You know, thankfully we still had Vulpix in play. We could have benched another one anyways if we really wanted to. And again, this shift tree is heavily damaged. So it is something we do have an option to finish off later on down the road. So that option is there. I mean, my opponent could hit his last Guzma. However, you never know, it might be prized. Never mind, it is not. He's going to knock out my Lele, it looks like, which is actually good. I can stretch it back in my hand. I don't know why he didn't, um... I don't know why he didn't knock me out. I don't know why he didn't knock out Genesect, but... Okay, it's an interesting, um, interesting play. I mean, yeah, I can just Lele now and just get my supporters back. Or I can hold the stretcher and then just Lele for Guzma. How many choice bands are left? Oh, there it is. Still got two left. Okay. So, we have still only two medals in the discard. Like, I have Stretcher for Lele, but... I think we're going to have to attack him with Extend. Or we just draw metal. So, okay, now that was almost pointless. But I don't actually mind doing this. This forces him to have to take the extra prize. Oh, I should have attached to Metagross and then Geotech. Whatever. Okay, dumb misplay on my end. Uh, I'm going to hold the stretcher for next turn, and we're just going to Meteor Mash him for the knockout. I don't mind this. This is a non-GX attacker he has to deal with, so that's all good to me. There's another Rare Candy, and there's a Steven, which is a great hand for next turn. We can get our last Max Potion, heal my Metagross, get another Metagross GX in play. We should be good from there. So this is perfectly fine. We're probably going to win this game at this point, unless he finds a way to take another two prizes very easily. I don't know. He's again. He's probably out of Guzmas. He's out of puzzles. So it's kind of up to what his Zor can do. But he's also very low on cards in this deck. So there's not much he can do. He might play Countercatcher. He could Countercatcher a Beldum or Volpix, I guess. I mean, knocking out Beldum could be a big deal potentially. But again, I can always just stretch it back in my hand if I really wanted to, so it's not the end of the world. His best bet is probably attack me and then just pray I don't heal. The Mallow means he can't end me, so there's nothing he can really do about the Steven's Resolve play I'm going to do, which is pretty good. Best thing you can do is just retreat Zork, but I'm just going to Steven for probably... Well, how many ends are left? He's only played two. He might be out of end, so I guess we'll Steven's for... Max Potion, Metal Energy, Guzma. But we have Stretcher for Guzma also. I mean, who cares, right? Who cares? 
we're pretty much going to win the game. Like, I'm not going to deny that we aren't yet. He's a Titan of Zoark. He sees the idea that I'm probably going to have to retreat into Zoark here if I'm going to be able to do anything. But uh, it's not going to work. Because we'll just do Steven. Oh, uh, yeah. Max Potion. Metal Energy. Well, actually, we might have to gra grab another Metal Energy. Right? Yeah, okay, I guess. We do have Stretcher for Lele, so we might just have to get the other Metal Energy. The reason here is because if we're going to Guzma, we'll have to attack with one of our Metagrosses on the bench. So yeah, I think it's safe to do that then instead. And yeah, we'll just Meteor Mash him for 120. And my opponent, you know, he'll retreat, but we'll just finish him off with Metagross. Unless he ends me to 1. He could shift the game that way, but I still have two Guzmas, I still have Stretcher for Lele, so it's not much he can do about it. His best plan of action is, again, probably to just end me to one. I mean, he might play multiple ends. No, he's actually going to judge me to four. I mean, that works too, I guess. Um, as long as we just get a Metal Energy and a Stretcher of Guzma, we should be fine. Guzma Metal Energy, perfect. How actually, how much Metal is in the discard? Two or three. Okay, we're good. So we do have KO. So my opponent can, you know, hit me for a hundred, but it's game over at this point. Yeah, it's game. Either way, honestly, we could probably stall him out at this point. He's got two cards left, and he's played a lot of his stuff. So we'll just Guzma up Zoark here, and uh, we'll just win the game with a big old Giga Hammer. Magro's taken out Shift Zoark, one of the presumed new top threats coming out of the new set, Celestial Storm. But we were able to put up a pretty good fight against it and uh, a pretty good game. And uh, we'll just win with a Giga Hammer. Knocking out Zoark GX, taking our last prize, which is our Tapu Lele that was prized. But yeah, that was a pretty good judge to four, giving us our last Guzmas there. It was pretty clutch. And uh, we'll get a prize. Let's see what it is 375 points. I'll take it. 100 is also a lot of points to get. So I'll, I'll see you guys in another match in just a moment. That was a good game. Alright guys, here we go, let's go get our probably last match of the deck, that Zoar Shifter game was really good, that was a really nice game, um, but we'll see what we end up playing against this time, and we'll see if we can do a little more Steven's action this time around, it looks like we're playing against potentially Zoark Bayonet, well, I don't know, I did say Colorless, it could be a, uh, could be an Umbreon deck maybe, or an Espeon deck, um, not winning the coin flip though is not a good sign, so we'll have to see if we are able to to get a decent starting hand, and oh wow, that's a, <laughs> that's a starting hand and a half right there, that's a really good hand, um, alright, that's good. So I have to see if they end me, and end would be very disappointing because this is a very strong hand, uh, we'll have to see what my opponent ends up doing, we'll see what they're even playing. They're playing a Turbo Dark Ride deck, okay, have not seen that in a while, but uh, you know what, looks like we're in for maybe a bit of a fight here, and they're playing Zork. They're actually going to do a Wally. Okay. Um, it's interesting. I don't know they're playing Mind Jack. Awesome. Because that's, that's actually kind of bad, not going to lie. I'm not very happy that I'm seeing that. They're actually going to put Lele down. Okay. I mean, don't really need to now, but okay. We're not obviously going to end them or anything, but it's interesting that they're playing the Lele down now instead of later. Do they get any energy? No, they're actually going to do stand-in. Okay, I mean, I guess they have, like, the fear treat. I wonder what they are going to go into. Okay, they have a max elixir, which doesn't hit. Okay, that's actually pretty good. They instruct for one. So maybe they're playing, like, a hypno dark ride deck, actually. With, like, dark head and stand-in. I don't know. Okay, we top deck Steven. Uh, we'll just do Bridget. I actually could do Steven. They might not even end me, but... We're obviously going to need to do, like, Bridget here. Just get Triple Beldum. We'll actually attach... Yeah, I think it's safe to attach to a Beldum. And we will do Beacon here for a Matang and a Metagross. Don't know what Metagross I want, though. Do I want... I guess we'll go for this Metagross. Maybe I should have held... No... Should have maybe attached to bull picks. Um, this is a weird, weird spot. I mean, I guess we'll grab Meteor Mash Metagross. 
Hmm. I don't know. Maybe I should have attached the Vulpix. Because if I don't get an energy next turn, I'm not going to be able to retreat and play Steven's Resolve. If I do Steven's, I'm technically going to be able to get like double Metagross down. It's fine though. My opponent will put a Zork Breakdown. So maybe I should have grabbed Metagross GX. I can still do that though. I still have Ultra Ball, so it's not, it's not over yet. If I want, I can grab Metagross GX, which I might need here to smack the Zork, the Zork Break and knock it out. But Zork Break isn't really copying any real big threat attacks other than Giga Hammer. They are playing multiple Zorks, which is a little annoying. We also have to watch out for Mind Jack, which can do a lot of damage. They're putting down a lot of nice Pokemon like Yveltal, which we can KO. So my opponent's just going to do Foul Play, which is fine. This gives us more time to set up. They're probably just going to do Beacon. I don't really think they're going to need anything, in all honesty. They already kind of have their board Pokemon established, so... Not much they really need, but we'll have to see. They're probably going to get another Zork, I guess. They might play Zork GX. No, some... It looks like it's just like a weird Dark Box deck. Alright, so we top deck of Vulpix. I mean, I guess that's fine. Um, I don't know if I even want to go Meteor Mash, at, in all honesty. It might be better to just get Metagross GX in play. I mean, I guess we'll go Meteor Mash. I don't know. I thought about it, but I think in the end it's safer to do that. Well, Cynthia, I wish I could have Ultra Ball there. I would have preferred that, but whatever. Um, Alright, nice. That's actually a pretty decent hand. So we'll retreat into Metagross. And we'll Meteor Mash for 60. Now, they can do Meteor Mash themselves, but we'll Steven's next turn and go from there. And next turn, we're going to be able to get multiple, multiple Metagross in play, which is really clutch. So, we'll see if my opponent's able to do anything this turn. Like, they can copy Meteor Mash, but, you know, they're not going to KO me. And then I'll just KO them with my Meteor Mash. The other thing I'm kind of scared of is Standin. Or, not Standin, sorry. Um, Mind Jack. That's technically his big attack. He's actually just going to go into Darkrai EX then, because he probably doesn't want to lose. And that's fine. We'll just max potion and go from there. So see what we top deck. Wow, that is, that's a huge draw. Uh, that's a really good draw. So we'll get another Metagross GX in play. Or a Metagross GX play, not another one, sorry. And we'll do Steven's Resolve. For... Okay, we're going to probably need... We're going to need Max Potion, Rare Candy, Metagross? We don't have a supporter to go off, like, for next turn. That's fine. It's not the end of the world. Not the end of the world. Um, don't want to make the same mistake twice like I did that one time. We want to do this. Don't want to do that again, so, uh, yeah, we'll be okay. So we'll just Meteor Mash for 120. Two shot this Darkrai, which is pretty clutch. I mean, Darkrai and uh, Eveltal, even Zork Break can easily be KO'd by Giga Hammer with a Choice Band. So it's really not a big deal, but get some extra damage on the board is always nice. This guy can get KO'd just by a normal Meteor Mash. Like, also, I could have just instead of getting Metagross, I could have, if I had the other mid tank, I could just grab that instead and then just grab another Stevens for next turn, which maybe should have been the case. Like, maybe Stevens is like one of those cards where. You go double Steven, you go Steven for two cards you want, and then Steven for another Steven, and then heal your Metagross, and then Steven again, kind of do a loop there. See what my opponent chooses to do. Just, they're going to foul play me for 60, that's fine. Um, we might not even get KO'd next turn, which is really good. Um, I think in the meantime, we can just bridge it, and probably just get a single Beldum. I don't really want to get anything else. Um, spread out the metals, we have Guzma. And we'll just Meteor Mash, knock out the Zork Break. See what we get off of our prizes. I don't know what's prized. Okay, Field Blower. It's kind of pointless right now anyways. Metagross should live the turn. I actually don't think he can KO it. Uh, maybe he does. He might. He's going to need a lot of energy to knock me out. We'll see if he gets it. If not, uh, Meteor Mash can do some more magic here. You can't. The only problem with Meteor Mash is you, you're subjected to what they have active. You can't Guzma and like... You know, go Meteor Mash for 120, because it doesn't work. That's not how it works. So they're going to Energy Retrieval back the one Dark Energy. Uh, this is a weird matchup, guys. <laughs> this is a weird deck, but it's fine. It's probably just like a Dark deck they put together. They're actually going to be trapped in the active unless they um, retreat. Nope. Okay. Looks like they're just going to Dark Pulse me. Can I get a Max Potion top deck? Oh, that would have been so clutch. 
so we can take two more prizes here. We're gonna lose Metagross, but again, Metagross did its thing. It kind of just took out, it took three prizes for us, which is really good, and we'll see what we get. We do get another rare candy, so that's insane. I might just put this Metagross back and just Meteor Mash him, but no, we have Choice Band, never mind. So if he doesn't end me, we'll bring out Metagross GX here, and we will not get a Evolve Flow, but it looks like he's actually gonna go Umbreon and then just strafe me, I guess? Which is fine, I can still knock out that Yveltal. Which is good. I don't want to go triple Metagross GX or just get another um, Meteor Mash Metagross and play. It's kind of subjective, we'll see. I mean, they might end me here, which would be really bad. They're gonna get rid of, it looks like, okay. I don't even know what I got rid of, another rank. But they're gonna get another Dark Rise, so they can instruct for three. If they don't get a Dark Energy here, they're not gonna get a knockout. If they don't knock me out, that's huge. That just gives me more turns to get 120 on the board. That's the nice thing about this Metagross. It's tanky, can take a few hits, and it can take multiple knockouts. Just like last game against Zoark, you were able to take three prizes there with this Metagross. Before it even got taken out. And they only took one prize for KOing me. And they actually play that, which essentially does nothing. Unless they attack Vulpix. And they do have an end. That is very annoying. That does technically not give us the KO, but that's fine. And wow, we got Rare Candy back, so I can still go Meteor Mash, which I might as well do. I don't really mind that. Or I go Triple Metagross GX. I think maybe the Triple Metagross might be the better play at this point. Depends on what he brings into. Depends on what he strafes into. He's probably going to strafe into, like, the Zork Break, I guess? Don't know. Hopefully we can draw something. We barely played any of our supporters, so should draw well. He's actually going to bring up the Zorg, which I'm fine with. We knock it out this turn, and that's good to me. Um, hopefully we can either get Stretch or your supporter. Okay, that's a little annoying. Um, that's fine, though. We'll just Rare Candy and the other Metagross. Again, I think Triple Metagross is going to be the way we're going to go about it. So we'll just uh, Geotech System to the active. We'll do another Geotech System. And... We have that combo going down half. Do I want to attach the choice band now? I think I'll hold it. The only Pokemon he can go into next turn is the Rangaroo, and that's the only thing that can't get KO'd. We'll see what we get off the prize. Float. Really need a supporter. I'm not saying we're going to lose if we don't get one, but it's bad if we don't. He's actually just going to bring out Yveltal, which if he doesn't end me to two here, then I straight up win the game just by attaching Choice Band. So we'll have to see what he does. If he wants to Evil Ball me, it's fine. He's gonna do a nice chunk of damage. I don't think he'll knock me out. We got 250 HP. We're, unless he has like five energy switch. Well, like four energy switch. Max Elixir hit, attaches a DCE. I guess he can aim for a knockout, but that's obviously not gonna happen. He's gonna Ultra Ball away, another Umbreon line. I mean, as long as he's an enemy, guys, we should have game here. Unless he sees that, oh, maybe I'll get KO'd. Maybe he just doesn't predict that I'm playing any choice bands in my deck. Which is, I mean, not a really safe prediction for my opponent, but... There is a slight possibility my opponent doesn't expect any choice bands to be within my deck, so... I mean, we'll have to see if that's the case. Probably not. He does get a DCE. I mean, you do a nice chunk, and Sycamore, so that means we should have game here. I mean, even if he does KO me, the fact that we have a metal on this Metagross just means I can do double Geotech system and knock him out. Even if he somehow KOs my Metagross here. Which I don't think will happen. I'm not even going to bother with the math. Like, what is that? 60, 90, 120, 140. He's doing like 180? 180, 170, 190. Somewhere in that number. Yeah, 190. But that ain't enough to KO me because, and wow, that's dirty. That is a dirty top deck. Can just heal all that. And that should be game, guys, because we just attach the choice band. And we just do double Geotech system. And we win the game. Beaten with Metagross. And you know what? We showed off the deck beautifully here. We showed off how Metagross can work now. And uh, yeah, we just gig a hammer for the game. 180 damage on Yveltal is enough to KO it. And... That is game here, and that will wrap the day's PDCGO video, showing off the new Metagross-Stevens combo pretty well there. We didn't use it as much as I expected to use it. 
Um, but maybe that's kind of the nature of it. But I do think that this deck is a decent pick for right now in the current format. I think Pulse Rotation Metagross is also going to be a very good deck. Um, honestly though, I think maybe you can take the Genesect out. I thought I would use Genesect a little bit more. We just didn't end up using it that much. So I guess Genesect can be taken out. I kind of like having the idea of having baby Dustmane in the deck. Um, maybe Dustmane GX is a good one of in this deck. Um, or maybe you just find room for a fourth max potion. So it's up to you. Either way though, I think Metago Stevens is a very strong deck. And it's a very cool deck. Um, it's an insane combo. So yeah, that'll wrap the day's PC Joe video. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like. And don't forget to subscribe to help me hit 3k subs. We're very close. We're like 25, 20 off of 3k. So I'll see you guys in another PC Joe video. Have a good day. And I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye.